We're in Revelstoke. We've been working real hard for the last week building all these features. Revelstoke was so much more than just about the skiing. It was about, you know, this concept shoot we had. Features that have never been built before, you don't know the possibilities of what can go wrong. I was definitely scared at first. It's like skiing right towards the wall and hoping you don't miss this little hole. We decided to bring in the crane. You know, we brought in the drone for a couple shots. And when the explosion went off, it really caught me off guard and kind of threw me off balance. That's what skiing's about, just having fun and conquering the unknown. Revelstoke was all about this concept shoot we had where, you know, it was so much more than just about the skiing. It was about this whole production behind it and how we can make it look like so much more than just, you know, skiing on some spring features. How can we make it, you know, like an action scene? We had this uh, game plan to have this concept of, of this character skiing through the woods in a very gloomy, strange kind of place that almost seems surreal. You know, I've been working with Lee on this idea for a long time, and we finally kind of had the resources and the, and the place and the time to do it. And uh, it all came together in Revelstoke. We are digging a hole out the middle of a giant block of snow, and we're just building some like rollers, pumps, into it as like some pre-features and uh, add to the effect of our whole idea, which is making one course. This whole one big line will all connect. Building stuff that's never been built before isn't that bad if you're in a big open area and you can adjust speed and angles into things. But building unique features that have only one line and one speed into it, and it has to work. The stress level is super high. Looking at them, you know, we, we haven't hit anything ever shaped like this before, and it's a lot of like, not really knowing if it's gonna work out. Building these bizarre features we had in mind is no easy task, and that's why I brought on Chris and Ty to do that. You know, Ty having a lot of experience in the Snowcat building parks, and uh, Turpin has such a creative eye for building those types of features, and I've known that for a long time. Hey boys, what do you say we uh, give her a little test drive? Definitely scared at first that, you know, about hitting your head on the top. <laughs> so slow. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Funnest built feature I've had in a long time. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. Yes. When I was originally coming up with this idea for this course, I was really kind of zoning in on who I was going to bring. Uh, Noah and Connie immediately jumped out to me. And then last minute, we brought our homie Rob in as well, who was uh, very helpful in creating the features. The oververt quarter pipe wave feature is one I had in my head for a long time, and now that I see it, it's definitely a little more intimidating than I had pictured in my head. So it's gonna be interesting to ride it for the first time. So we got the seawall all shaping up today. Feature that Turpin actually came up with. We actually are most skeptical about this one, if this one will work. Definitely on my mind prior, during, and post, hoping that Sean was one, gonna like it, two, be able to ride it, and three, be able to ride it really well. We're gonna have a takeoff jump going into the wall and then launch out like a quarter pipe so definitely a really wild feature, definitely nothing I've seen before and definitely ever ridden anything like that. So it's going to be a new challenge. Today was a big day. We got to build a lot of the features with, our, with the, some shovels and hand build a lot of stuff and pretty stoked to uh, 
go into tomorrow and let this thing carry on and uh, make some magic. More pyro than the 4th of July. Tell me about your character. Um, he's very alone. The idea is there's nobody left in the world. He actually leaves Earth. You know, it's a pretty much a chase and journey through, uh, through space and goes through some time portals. Today is the first big shoot day. And you know, after building for the past week, we've just about hit everything now. Now we can get right into shooting. Yes. Boys, yes, boys. yes. After chopping down half the tree, it seems like they're able now to get through. Coming from a slightly higher altitude, ripping through, but it's still scary watching that thing rip through that hole. But the shot's epic, so it's definitely worth it. to make it you know, seem surreal, we had to add something that wouldn't necessarily happen in real life, i.e. the fire. You know, adding fire and, and smoke and in a snowy setting was just, you know, we thought, how can we do something that's just gonna be a little bizarre and, and, uh, and make people you know, think about where, what's going on. It's Sean in 10 seconds, Sean's dropping in 10. Yeah, we did it. it was sick. Sick. Nice. Nice crane move. Nice shiny. Nice shirt. Sure. Just finished shooting the C Bank quarter pipe feature. And that was uh that was pretty fun to ride around some fire. You know, when you're working on something like this, it's a lot of artists coming together. It's the athlete, the art of the builder, the art of the filmers, and the artwork of the uh, pyrotechnics guys on a project like this. It comes to a lot of people, and one of my favorites was definitely the pyrotechnics guys. Boom. The heat wave, like, hit me in the back. That's it was like, oh, sorry. I really got a sense of, you know, what it's like being on, on a production shoot. Everything really has to align in order to get these perfect shots. You know, the pyro guy is making sure the explosion goes off at the perfect time. The low you are, then the flames will be like up around you. I know that sounds f***ing awful and I'm not the person going through the fire, but... Just suck it up, you suck it up. <laughs> they put even more pressure on me, which was actually kind of fun to have this extra bit of, uh, you know, intensity during a shoot. Burned the foam up here. Oh my god. Smoked my eye. It like filled my goggles full of smoke. Oh, that's pretty dope. <laughs> Dropping in three, two, one, drop, Sean. 
<laughs> when the explosion went off, it really caught me off guard and kind of threw me off balance just mentally. And, uh, and I crashed the first time because I, <laughs> I just wasn't ready for like this, this explosion. It was actually fairly distractive. We were getting to the end of the day. It was almost getting dark. We had just enough time to set up the explosion again. You know, I got back up there, reset everything, and then uh, ended up getting the explosion shot pretty much just perfectly. It looks like you framed the thing. It's so cool. <laughs> Lee, are we good? Yeah, we're good. One, two, three, team yeah. yard! Three, two, one, drop! I'm a little under there, just under there a little bit. That's a wrap. One week of building, three long days of shooting. I think everyone's pretty excited about this whole concept shoot, and we'll see what we can uh, we can come up with. Ended with a bang here. He skied through flames, almost burning his eyeballs out at the same time. But uh, he still has his eyes, and we have our shot, so we're very happy. So nice in here. Yes. Nice work, team. A little closer. Yes. Nice okay. work. Where do you sit? Woo! This season was definitely one to remember because it's essentially been like two years since we've been in the Whistler backcountry. It was awesome to hang around here and ski the train I love most. You know what's crazy? The Ice Age, man. Just about to finish up the final shoot for our Project X concept. In the summertime, these caves just open up and definitely pretty scary because, you know, at any point in time, those things can collapse. When we first decided that we were going to do this kind of short film with this concept, knew I was going to do it with Lee. I'm pretty happy with it, sir. So. Yeah, let's check it out. I'm excited.